has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Okay. Sugar, take. Ooh, Thank you. Sugar. Okay. Sodium chloride. Only three more items to go. Graffiti. Is graffiti one of the things on the list? I never said they were great. Max takes but... shitty selfies. Of course. Um. Chemistry stuff. <laughs> Come on. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Uh. Why the hell not? Uh. I need a chair. Ooh, gross. At least switch to E6. I need something to be able to reach that. This is really fucking... Um... This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Okay. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Duct tape. The tape is mine. Okay. You're halfway home, Max. Alright, hold on. Tab. Okay, still don't know how I'm supposed to get the fucking weed killer. Oh, soda can. Okay, I have the can. All right, it's got to be something one in this more room. Ingredient left. How do I get to it? Can I just reach up and take it? You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. I tried this. Game's throwing me curveballs. I don't like it. Okay. We're out of here. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Alright. This way, this way, this way. You have to be shitting me. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, it's a bomb. Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! Hey. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Really? Talk about leaving evidence behind. That was so fucking cool! I wonder if I could've... Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? If I go in and then rewind. <laughs> Thank you. 
Got it. <laughs> okay, this I love this game. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh wait, can I just open the door and let her in? I love it. Oh god, this game is amazing. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. That was amazing. I so love far. this game. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Alright. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, he'd <laughs> still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. Oh, God, I'm still gushing over the just being inside thing. That was awesome. All right. So, um, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. In light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course... This situation can't be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of, of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to. To the same obvious conclusion. Thanks, Sean Prescott. Fuck you. Okay. Whiskey bottle. Let's drink. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Hmm. Wowzer. This will so not come in handy. Nothing there. Search. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Holy reading. Uh, student information sheet. Kate Beverly Marsh. My mom's name is Beverly. Uh, Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extra your curricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged by KBay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attitudes, attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional and phys or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Berenci. Update. At present time, there is a... Sec security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded on the onto the internet without the knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. She see the attached files for complete details. <clears throat> okay. Need two more files to go. Two more? Tumbleweeds. Uh. Look at this pile. Ah. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Really? Of course he does. Nathan Joshua Prescott. 
brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell and also as a fucking prick. Like I'm not going to read my own personal <laughs> file. Okay, here we go. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates as she is acknowledged. She ha- she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student's suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell Security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Uh, Victoria Chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but that this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much Holy here about breeding. the police investigation. Okay, student information. Rachel Dawn Amber. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the last month. Her parents are, at the present, unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary... Rachel Amber is a quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. So I'm just going to throw this out there. The the creepy Rain Man type gardener dude had a fashion magazine and she was a runway model. Pieces of the puzzle? Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> Bad Chloe. Oh, Lord, this should be good. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray-painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See, a, she attended. See attached police reports. There's nothing there. Okay, back. Is that the last one? I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. 
Uh -oh. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks. 